So hello, hello and welcome back to another episode of The Ground Cinnamon. So we are in Goa and of course a lot of the recipes are going to have fish in them. So before I get into some of the, the fish curries and some of the fish fries of Goa, we must learn how to debone a fish. Uh, so for that purpose, I went to the market today, I got a solid kingfish. Uh, this is also called a king mackerel. And uh, this is what in the business we'd call a round fish. Now there are two types of fish, round fish, flat fish, and round fish are the easier fish to work with. Now, they have just two fillets. It's easier to debone compared to a flat fish, which has four fillets. They are a little more technical to work with. Uh, so king mackerel, and I'm going to show you how to debone it. Now, when you go to your fishmonger, uh, they will provide you with some basic minimum services. So they could cut it for you. And the most common cut in India that you'd find is a darner fish. So this is your fish. You would take uh, this portion and cut steaks out of it. And that uh, a darner fish would roughly in French translate into steak or fish. Now that is most commonly seen in India. What I want to show you is how to make a completely clean deboned fish and with that there is so much more you can do. The fishmonger has uh, scaled it for me. Uh, he's also done this. He's removed the intestines and so the belly is clean. If you want they'll also remove the gills but the gills are a good indicator about the age of your fish and they should be bright and red like it is. So this is quite fresh. Now to start off you want uh, to first of all establish your right-handed or left-handed and if you're right-handed you always want the head of the fish on the right hand side so this is how you'll work with your knife secondly you want to start with the head so you want to get rid of the head and to get rid of the head you want to establish uh, the bone just behind the gills so you'll feel it you'll feel this hardy bone behind it and with a deep angle and a very sharp knife so just behind using the length of your knife and a deep angle you want to go in once you've done that you stir it over and repeat it on the other side so this is the bony portion and you want to go in like that If you've done a good job, you'd usually not have any meat. There should be minimum meat and get rid of all of that crap. Now, when you're going to begin working with your fish, again, you want the head on the side of the hand you work with and the belly should be facing you. So while the belly is facing me, you want to hold the belly up. So this is the belly. You want to hold it up and with a mild angle, just above the spinal cord, you want to use the length of your knife and start cutting. So as you cut, you'll hear the bones crack. Those are the pin bones. And when you hear that sound, remember you're doing a good job. So you might go and open it and you'll see these this is these are the bones they should be minimum loss of meat and here you can see I can already feel the bones here so that's a good job here we've cleared the top feeling now at this point you want to simply turn it over here the belly is facing away from you you want to bring it a little closer to the edge of the chopping board and Again, similar thing, but this time you want to use your knife this way, angled towards you, and the top angle should hold the belly. Now here there would be a little bit of meat, you want to use a spoon and extract all of it. And again we've used this meat again to make fish cakes, to make um, 
yeah that should be a tablespoon worth on one side and another tablespoon worth on the other side now don't get rid of this this makes excellent stock now that you're done getting the two filets of the fish what you want to do is get rid of the inner pin bones so you want to take a filet and with a pair of tweezers you want to remove the pin bones so the pin bones are lying inside the meat so if you take your knife run it backwards and nudge those bones a little bit you have a very clear picture as to how to remove them let me show you how now the first thing you want to do is get rid of this belly you will use this belly we'll use it to make say fish cutlets uh, you know fish cakes but in a proper piece of fish which has been completely deboned you you don't want this so you could either with a very deep angle just get rid of this top layer and that and this portion you want to take it off now along the spinal cord if you run your fingers you will find a few bones in this region so if you go in the opposite direction you will again nudge them and with a pair of tweezers you want to get rid of them again with an angle so at this stage i want to keep it at a very conventional portion and that would be about four fingers wide so you want to go with your knife and you want to go in so that is a deboned filet of fish and there you go guys that is how you debone a fish and we will use the exact same fish in the following recipe see you then